Introducing the all new Smart Display from Lenovo Cares. Start your day by asking Google for drug recommendations and it will suggest what is most popular in your area. Morning Molly. Now find out how to pick up the supply and the Smart Display will calculate how your route will go. Today you'll make your way between some tenderloins and a knob. Hill. Of course, this path will take you through your Bush Street, which has moderate traffic, even if you say you're on Maiden Lane. This screen wasn't edited. By the way, this place actually exists. We suspect it had something to do with South Park. Sha boom, and it's time for another Funky Monday video. We get updates on you, me, and everything funky. And yes, that is the official video from Lenovo for their new product, the, the Smart Display. Props to the marketing department for thinking of that name. And there's someone in that department who's having a little bit of a laugh. They're a little bit cheeky. It's the elephant in the room. There it is. But you know what? I do hear it is quite a good product if you are into this smart screen stuff. It's a little bit creepy though, how it has a camera and the screen in it. I mean, it really gets a lot creepier if you think about who might be getting this device. Google, show me the family room. Sure, streaming the family room camera. Google, set the temperature to 72 degrees. Okay, setting the family room to 72 degrees. Celsius! Ah, well, at least the device does have a camera shutter as well as a mute button, so uh, you can cut off the communications with people, but then how will you be able to find out how to escape the family room? Ooh, it's a conundrum. Let's get into your a community news. Oh, Funky Tech Edition. Speaking of playing a game, Oiva took the Pong sequence from last week's Funcoin video and made it a fully fledged playable game. That is some impressive Funk Chain technology. Link in the description, give it a play. We had a bit of trouble last Twitch stream where the Funk Pewter suddenly forgot that it had a C drive, very effective. Oh, and thank you Video Production for uh, testing out their own little Funk Pewter beta. Now, I do currently have some upgrades for the Funk Pewter. We're talking graphics cards and CPUs. We're gonna crack it open. And thanks to everyone who's been picking up some merch. It's helping us keep some of our equipment up to date within at least the last 10 years. But now it is time for this week's Certified Funky <laughs> Samp of approval, which this week goes to Oiva, of course, for designing that Funk Coin game. Absolute legend, and to see if you win 250 Funk Coin, let's shoot an egg. Oh yes. Boing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Egg Sports. Good to be back with the Funk Cannon. Where was Funky Monday last week? I don't know, but now we're back to missing good old days. They've come again, Sam time, he's, he's dressed in clothes this time, he's wearing actual pants, he's looking cool in those sunnies, but it is not helping his aim at all. There doesn't appear to be glare in his eyes, and he misses, no! Well, because that game was so good, that's 50 Funkcoin consolation prize. Thank you for tuning in, everyone, and by the way, Funkcoin winners from last week, as well as anyone who bought some merch, uh, this year, you will be getting your Funk Coin in your account this week. And if you haven't already, guys, set up yourself a free Funk account at funkytime.tv. Start earning Funk Coin on your purchases, and there could be some exciting exclusive content coming to the website. Oh, and if you're a Patreon or a Twitch subscriber, check down the bottom to link your accounts. Until next time, this is Sam Tucker saying, escape the ordinary and embrace the funky. And stay funky, everyone. Sam Time signing off. Subscribe today. And this episode was brought to you by the Funky Patriots. Unlocking the funk on Patreon. They're so hot.